Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today we're testing out the H&K 121, which I didn't really want, but what, what happened was basically I got asked to review it and I was like, okay, well I don't really want it, so I'm not putting a lot of money in. So I put like a five pound, that's it, I put five pound in and I got it on like the fourth box, so... Yeah, it cost me less than 100 credits to get the gun permanently. And, yeah, just, just weird little um, flex, I guess you could say. I got invited to a team, not a team deathmatch, a free-for-all with me boy, big boy Aero. And I thought, well, now's probably a good time to try out the gun, make sure it's okay, make sure it's good, or if it is, it's bad. Um, it's got 200 fucking bullets, I'll tell you that much. And it's got near enough no recoil. So, is, is it good? I, I guess so. You don't have to worry about reloading or anything, which is nice. But, like, I love the scope that you get on it, personally. Like, the scope is really nice. You get a custom grip as well, which is pretty nice. You get the the special HQ grip and the Hendlow sight, which is a nice bonus. Because whenever a gun comes with custom stuff, I always like it. Because that means they put a little bit of effort into it, even though I didn't really pay anything for this gun. So, yeah, I haven't played Warface for two days. I've been really busy. And by busy, I mean... I've had all my time sucked out of me by Cyberpunk because it's actually a really good game and I really enjoy it even though I have crashed a bunch of times on it but that's kind of given since they rushed it I guess you could say even though they didn't but like the thing is about certain things it's the same with like a lot of games out there like Warface for instance people want content when you deny them content and say sorry it's not it's not ready People will bitch at you, and then you'll release it, not ready, and then you'll get complained at, because guess what? It's not ready. So, no matter what you do, in the end, people are bitches, and people are impatient. So, it, it does suck, don't get me wrong. I would have loved it to be a, a flawless release, but here in 2020, or just the world as it is, when the fuck do we ever get a release that's not fucked? We always get fucked releases these days, dog. Like, no matter what we do, it's always scuffed things. Hello. Yo, I didn't even see those people, dude. But I hope everyone's having a good day, afternoon, morning, whatever it is for you as I record this video. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, that gun fell and I literally nearly died inside. I thought it was an enemy. I Okay, so my overall feelings right now for this gun is it is surprisingly really fucking good. I, I didn't expect this to be good. Like, it, think of the stoner, but better? I, I guess you could say. I'm not 100% on, like, if it's true, but... Think of this, I didn't want to get the stoner, I had the stoner on Xbox and I never saw the reason of getting it on Switch because I just didn't really like it too much and it would have been me just wasting my money. So when it, whenever it comes to like light machine guns or LMGs, I really don't really, how can I put it? I don't, I don't know how to say it. I, I'm not really looking forward to LMGs or anything. I don't have a special place for them because I feel like assault rifles do just what they do better in retrospect. Now, I could be wrong. Okay, that is right. I, I really could be wrong. But that's just how I think of it. And unfortunately, that's like, that's life. Uh, everyone has different opinions. Everyone has different feelings, tastes and stuff. But it's nearly Christmas. Which is nice. Also, tomorrow I will be doing the video for the giveaway winners. So, make sure to look out for that because that's going to be pretty cool. 
So the, remember there are going to be three winners. There's going to be a third place, second place, and first place. Make sure to prepare tomorrow to find out who won. And then you've got like a couple of... I think you've got like a couple of days to get back to me about it. Oh no. Is he waiting for my gun? Arrow, you slimy boy. You slimy, slimy bitch. Get off my gun. That's if he even had my gun. If he didn't, then he's just slimy, slimy boy. I haven't played in two days, and I still, I still got it. I'm not as rusty as I once thought I might be. But I don't play free for all that much anymore. I'm not. You normally see me on ranked or team deathmatch. It's been a hot minute since I even played a free for all. So to come back to Warface after two days and then immediately just get jumped into a free for all. I don't mind. I kind of wished it was team deathmatch, but I'll do whatever I, whatever it gives me. And also, I haven't just been playing Cyberpunk. I've been playing the new League of Legends Wild Rift on mobile because I was a huge League of Legends fan back in the day. I've never been good at it though, and I'm. I used to play mobile. I used to play mobas on my phone competitively and professionally. I used to play Mobile Legends really competitive there, there there I played mobile legends really competitively and then I played arena of valor professionally so and there's even footage out there of me in, in Katowice where I played in a tournament so going back to like a phone a phone MOBA after retiring from like arena of valor pro play and stuff was was an experience I'll, I'll, I'll give it that it was an experience Although, would I go back to professional playing on mobile? Probably not. I know, I know saying professional and gaming in, on mobile is still a hot topic of, no, you can't, you can't play, like, mobile, you can't play stuff on mobile, like, professionally, it's not, it's not how it works. Like, okay, sure, but I did, so that's how I feel. And that's what I used to do. I used to play professionally, so... Fuck me, right? I might start playing it competitively again, but I'm really not entirely sure. It depends how much time and how many like things. Because I would like to do different content and stuff. Like, say, do a League of Legends Wild Rift video. That would be pretty fucking interesting on my part. Because I used to do all that shit for Arena of Valor and Mobile Legends. Hell! There is a voiceover where I actually did a, I actually did an official champion announcement for Mobile Legends back in the day that has my voice explaining the character, what they did, and the official channel. So that was fucking cool back then. I don't know if I'd ever go back into doing all that stuff. I'd obviously be doing a lot of Warface, because you know me, I'm a Warface dude. I love first person shooters, but... MOBAs have a special place in my heart, I guess you could say. Especially when it's like competitive. So, I think that would be nice to go back to and maybe try it out again. Because if you guys would like to see some League of Legends Wild Rift gameplay or something else, just let me know in the comments down below because that would be fucking nice. You know, to do something different finally. Hello. Stop pushing me. My kid is literally like right next to me and he keeps pushing my arm. He's like, nah, dad, fuck you. Obviously, he didn't say fuck you, but like, hell, he can't even say a lot of things properly. But, hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, remember to hit that like button and the comment button. And also share down below, because that would be really fucking nice. We came third, but that's still good in my books. So, thank you all for watching. I will catch all of you in the next video. Peace.